Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. Today we are on set for the Super Cheap Auto Oils campaign. The midget's here, people. The midget is here. It already has some extra modifications, uh, including this device, which I believe is a petrol-powered leaf-blowing golf ball shooting device. Uh, and meanwhile, there's some there's some mods going on on here just before the car is required for its first shoot. So because we were pretty low on time, we just sort of chuck everything anywhere we could find a spot for it. But now we have to think about the realities of actually driving this thing and jumping in and out of it. And our ECU was hanging around here, which is not a good spot. There's also these access panels, which has made working on it really easily, made it really easy, but it's also been um, not great in terms of you don't want the belts right behind your feet. So now it's just sort of like safety and the realities of driving it around and having a good time. But it works now, which is why everything we leave everything out. Just check it works so it's easy to fix. And now that it works, we can sort of tuck it all away. So thanks to Mr. Cable Tines and Tape, it's going to be neat, people. Neat. I'm excited to drive this thing. In anger, are you excited to drive this thing? I'm excited to drive it. I do believe that you will be shooting that Martin and I will be driving that. That feels like such a victorious um, thing to do, doesn't it? After the amount of work that we went through to get this thing going. Yes. <laughs> Skid Factory boys are here. Reese, how you doing? Hey, Mouthful hey, of food. Everybody. Good hey, morning. Things. Good morning, Super Cheap, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sketch, how you doing? Behind the scenes, thank you so oh, much. Oh, Make sure you get man. yourself one as well, man. Here it is, Al, this is the new and upgraded version. Can you tell us quickly about the, um, what's going on over here? The Super Yamaha Ultra Cox. Yes. 450. Nice. So we ditched the twin cylinder engine because we couldn't get it to go to the back wheel and make the thing move. So we put the motorbike engine in it. There's lots of chains and somehow it moves. It looks great, dude. It looks so good. Hey, Woody. Hey, mate, how you going? How you doing, mate? Yeah, good, bro, good, good. It could be deathy. We just don't know quite know yet. Run up, zone safe, etc., etc. So just be mindful of where you are, and you can... Does your car not have a DFB now? Yes, <laughs> Cable tie engineering, Ellen. I approve. <laughs> Front and back, look. Yes. Front's getting cable tied. Back's getting cable tied. Here, up in here. Yeah, great. Around there to keep it up, those cable tiles will be useful. Morning, Reese. Yeah, how you doing? Hey. Everyone, this is Reese from Super Cheap Auto. He's the one that pretty much, I mean, amongst everyone else, but he kind of makes the ad happen. The midget, what the do midget. you think? Man, this thing's awesome. I'm amazed I fit in it. I've never sat in a one-seater car before and had a Japanese toll thingy talk to me. It's well, amazing. Well, let me show you what the experience is like when someone else is in there oh, with boy. you. Where does the gear stick go? Marty, can you grab this for a second, dude? So this is what this is what it's like. This is how we drive it together, like this. So it's kind of becomes a um, two man it, it's operation. Like a, it's so we're doing this. Oh, you're being told to go. Okay, you gotta go. All right, thank you, mate. Enjoy your first uh, midget experience. Thanks, boys. What a weapon! It sounds so good. You wouldn't think it would sound so loud. Oh, uh, handbrakes! Handbrakes on the right. Down there. Got it, we're good. Yeah, there he is. What are you boys up to? Gotta make sure we don't put any scratches on your midget, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this is a pretty cool looking contraption and I saw in testing that it actually works, which is exciting. Yeah, it does. It goes about 30, 40 metres. Maybe. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. In the rush to get here, uh, we left the bracket that holds the spare on, um, but it has been wired on, so train spotters might be able to see, uh, just like some of the Fast and Furious movies, that there is nothing actually holding that on, but from a distance, it should look fine. So the location of this shoot is this old golf clubhouse. It's all a bit old and dero. Um, I'm sure whenever it was made, it was probably quite an exciting place to be, but now it looks like something out of the Resident Evil computer game, which is kind of scary. Um, it's Al, everybody. There he is. Smoko break. Oh, it's Smoko. Yeah. For the next hour or two. Not mowing at the moment. So this is the, the green room, which is, I would call it more like the dank room. Can you smell a couple of decades of golf sweat? 
There's a little bit of dankness going on in here, yeah. Um, but this is apparently where the talent is, which includes us, Al. And Sketch, your talent. I'm just everywhere. And um, so there's a little bit of entertainment. A little golf area here, some fruit, and some um, caramel slice, which is the best, the best treat there is. Can't go past a caramel slice, legit. It's even got the double staircase here and here, just like the Resident Evil game. I can scrub them, drive them with a fan. It's good service, isn't it, Martin? <laughs> How are you going this morning, Martin? Just starting your daily routine? Yeah, I'd put What happens every time we make a YouTube video? It's just sun cream, but they also fix your face. So, I mean, I think there's a bit of sneakiness going on here about what's actually happening. Why wasn't my face fixed, though? Because they already said your face was perfect. Legitimately, word for word, they go, your face is perfect. Marty, we're just going to fix your face. Oh. That's what happened, dude. Oh, okay. So, congratulations on having an excellent complexion. Well, I don't know about what's that, dude. What's your skincare dude? routine, dude? Oh, uh, I don't know. Just absolutely not. What's that? Is that Martin's skin colour? <laughs> What information does that give us? What does that tell us? How much they got to fix it? How much bog they got to apply? <laughs> this, how much of this they put in is based on how much sleep you got. How much in your dark circles? Oh, that, you're getting like a proper makeover, mate. All right, thanks, mate. It's good. You're getting bold. You're going to look way less than 46 years old, which high I think is really good. This is high thought primer. Oh, yeah, the Wikipedia thinks I'm in my 40s. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, I have. Did you do it? No. Thinks I'm in my 40s too. So I have these chatty sunnies and hat and a golf glove, whatever that is. Um, they get ready to shoot a whole bunch of stuff over there. Our midget's there, looking awesome. I hope it works. It's literally run for minutes since it came off the dyno, so we have no idea what's going to happen. Um, but fingers crossed it works. We will see. This here is what will stop Martin from dying. Well, he. No, your driving is what's going to stop me from dying, mate. <laughs> your excellent, safe driving. <laughs> He's going to walk, they'll walk the uh, path with you. Okay. You can, uh... No worries. I'm just swapping this out for something that won't look right. as bright on camera. So this is going to be our first scene of the day. We basically got the midget. Uh, we're chasing this car here because uh, they've wrecked our golf game, haven't they, Martin? And you and I are method acting because we play a lot of golf. Heaps of golf. Never ever played golf in my life. Never played a round of golf. I've been to some driving ranges. I've done putt putt. I've got a golf club called a Big Bertha. Is that a thing for golf people out there? Big Bertha? I'm not That's what sure, I've got. mate. I have one golf club. The little midget does look great. And it just, you can see how small it is now that you're on it. Like, you can see just how small the car is. It's pretty and amazing. The payload is taken up, right? Like, if you put two of me on here, we're over overloaded. Yeah. Film set usually means lots of waiting. So we're waiting for people to get cameras ready and get it all lined up because they've got a small amount of time to get it all done, as in small amount of running time. Um, Hello, how's Martin. It, how's the midget going, mate? Uh, it starts and runs so starts far. And and oh, it's, we haven't um, done any shots yet. But, um, very noisy, which is great. I think it sounds actually sounds excellent. Sounds good, mate. We're scaring the wildlife away currently, which is yeah. a good... That's a requirement to scare the wildlife away. My yeah. golf cannon's pretty noisy. It's like a leaf blower. It's doing the job. Getting it done. About to do a hero shot type thing. Got lots of balls. I think strapped in. It's uh, still a bit sketchy though. All right, we're about to do another take where this time uh, we got the uh, little midget chasing the drift car. Chasing a little moped. Actually, I have to listen to what I got to do. Sam, so you're constantly getting closer and closer and closer. Just don't make it all happen at the front. Bobby. Great. All right. All right. Fire up the... We're going. Here we go. We're going to do a big hero shot with that camera guy. That's a lot of people. Oh, yeah, because you nod to... Do, do a couple of nods because you nod to Sam as well. Yeah. He goes back. Okay, cool. Here we go. Getting all the cars in one go now. These sunnies are foul. I only have them on because I was getting hit with grass. 
Um, so I had to put something on to protect the eyes. Here, then you head to the red marker. Okay, sure. That way you'll be more assured that you get your run off. Yep, you got it. Pull up and do it three times. Got it, all Great. right, no worries. All right, stand by. Hey, mate. Uh, this is the last shot of this scene. Uh, this is using a, um, like, a POV drone, and basically we're chasing this car here, then we're going to peel off, and then I think a motorbike's going to do a jump into the water with a stunt guy or something. Pretty cool. Mm. It's Australian TV commercials being done mad and big, and uh, not many people are bold enough to do that, but Super Cheap Auto is with their oils campaign. It's very cool to be involved. So I'm about to go down and play golf. I've never actually putted on a golf course ever in my entire life. I've played putt-putt, but I've never putted golf. So in front of, I don't know, 30 people, I have to do my first putt and see how this goes. So slippery. This here, as far as I'm concerned, this is the most important part of the film set today because without this, no one can hear anything. This is the and Richmond sound cart. Oh, right. Well, is that a golf team? Oh, oh it's a golf team. Oops. 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 Um, all right, Richmond so... Richmond in Victoria. Yeah, Richmond, yeah. We're not even in Victoria. Oh, but come and on. And we're not from Victoria. Are you from Victoria? No, I'm born and bred Brisbane. Oh, yeah. What? This born. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, no, it's... Probably... Richmond's an AFL oh, team, aren't Brisbane. they? AFL is yes. like football, which is like soccer, which is like rugby, which is like union, which is like AFL. Which is nothing like, like golf. golf. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, without you and your furry wombat, no. we wouldn't be hearing anything today. That's right. So thank you for the great work that you do. It's fantastic. We're very, it's a pleasure. It's great. The team, sound team is here, here to help. Here okay. to make everything sound amazing, Martin. All right, it's all about lines. Looks like it's just us. Nope. <laughs> all this stuff. About to try and putt. Oh, they're waiting for me. I should put this down. He's going to handbrake it. He's going to need momentum. Like, speed is the friend to get around. Yeah. And I've just told him to wind the front bias in. So as the car comes around, he grabs the fronts and it acts basically as a second handbrake. Oh, right. As it comes around. So once it changes ends, lock the front and try and make it continue lock, to spin. So lock the rear. As it comes around, lock the front and yep. that'll kind of act as a handbrake as well. Awesome. And then you can power on again, hopefully. Hopefully. That's the plan. A bit harder to do that in your drift car, right? Yeah. Different. Probably. Different. But yeah, I mean, it's all just momentum, I guess, you know. Oh, nice. Got there. What kind of shot are you getting for this one, mate? Um, this one's top down. Straight down the freeway. Same speed as the car, but I'm going to continue straight. In theory, in my frame, he should be doing a real nice 360 and shoot on through. So. I know this is a couple of different drones here. So this is like, the, it's like an Inspire, is that right? This one's the Inspire 2 with the X7 camera. So this yep. one's basically a big floating movie camera. And then we've got the race drones here. We've got an external race drone, which is a, a five inch race drone that Scott's got. Yep. And awesome. then we have a padded race drone for indoor and tight shots. So. Got it. So this is particularly fast outdoor stuff. Extremely fast. And he's doing uh, first person view with this one, right? Yeah. Yep. And it's got a GoPro on the front of it. Yeah, and a little fancy um, single axis gimbal. This oh, year. you can adjust it. Oh, that's it cool. It does it by the gyro. Oh, so it's keeping that reasonably level. Yeah. Do you have so, to think about so what's going I, on here or so no? So if I break, normally the GoPro looks to the sky yep. unless you do a roll. So hopefully the camera will come down and keep everything in frame. Oh, that's right. This year, yeah. Never seen it before. Very cool, man. Looks yeah. like it's homemade. It's um, a guy in America, and then I custom did it for this frame. Love it. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. But it'll get up pretty quick and do 100, 130, 140. So definitely enough for everything on grass here. Yeah. So a lot of setup in this shot. Drones, racing drones, racing drones heading up now. Um, this is really tricky. Obviously, this manoeuvre trying to do it in front wheel drive car on grass, which is like ice. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Luke King's in there driving and he's getting better and better each time he goes for the skid. And obviously, this is going to edit it together to look even more hectic than it is in real life because there is a limit to how far she can go when there's uh, water, water courses each side. flight time to get with this one mate? Uh, typically three and a half minutes right, but if count. you're just cruising you could get five minutes yeah. oh, right. 
Yeah. And what's the top speed? Uh, maybe 180, 200 of this one. <laughs> in that? Yeah, but only for, wow. like, for only for like short periods of time, 10 to 15 seconds. Right. Because the battery drain, yeah. it starts sagging, then you've got to let it recover a little bit. What kind then, of lipo is in it? Uh, it's a lithium um, high voltage. It's a six cell. Six cell. So it's yeah. twenty five point two volts charged. Right. And then we take it down to about twenty two volts. Right. It's a lot for a little thing, hey. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Impressive. So like twice a car battery. Yep. And yeah. range. How far can you send it from yourself before you start stopping out? Uh, typically, you know, well, depending on battery size, but you could do ten k's if you wanted okay. to. Okay. Big enough battery with a line of sight. And how'd you get into doing this sort of stuff, man? Uh, just hobby. I built uh, RC planes, and yep. then a mate says, "Hey, have a look at this drone. Have a go at mine." And I crashed his. Oh, into this a... mate, this mate, sketch over here. <laughs> just nerd birds, <laughs> but I uh, crashed his drone into a, a duck pond full of duck crap, and I was hooked <laughs> after that. Yeah, cleaned it up. Yeah, they're tough as. So. Amazing. That's yeah. cool, man. I look forward to seeing this. This will be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Did he well? He actually got it to turn around. Pretty cool. I hear in the dust and the dirt as well. Yeah, nice. Wow, man, nice. Yeah. Good job. Stoke. That's that gimbal sick. did its thing then. Go, 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 go. There's Martin there. He's playing golf. I don't think he's ever played golf in his life. Hard play, putt putt, ready. And driving range, we kick out a couple of times. <laughs> Which direction does the drift happen? Does he come in from this side or come in from that side? Do you know? Yeah, okay. Oh, it's going to come in through tomorrow. I'll give you that time. Ready, Adam? Ready and action. A very hot day today. Luckily, I'm holding an umbrella for myself to keep myself warm. It's not being held by someone else. It's being held by me. <laughs> and Martin's also holding his own umbrella. It's very hot in this wall, though, I must say. I'd be in T-shirt and shorts at my own golf course. Ready and action. Hurry up, Martin. Chop, chop. Happy to feather off this. But you can do a yeah. run while with them open, so you yeah. can get a feel for what. I just wasn't sure if you meant that I'm coming through at 60 gauge now and just slamming on yeah. the yeah. One green screen. Yeah, that's going to be safe. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I mean, I don't, it's not about um, slamming the brakes, we won't see it, so it's about just having enough speed. You're not going to say fast that you're going to Oh, right. I, I, so it's not the dramatic. But I'll, I'll stop in the distance. That's fine. Yeah, okay. We have a, we've got to go as fast as possible. There's a very, very short runoff. Oh, we're on. Happy days. It um it goes against all your senses driving through something when you can't see the other side. Because you get you can't actually see through there, can you? It's just a park. It's kind of scary. Yeah. You look like you do scary stuff. Do you jump off things and do flips and shit? Uh, all the time. All the time? 
Yeah, well, not as much as I used to be. Yeah. I'm getting old. Is that because yeah. you did it a lot and broke some shit? Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, it's been the uh, Midget Australian who stands you for hitting the tree. Cool. Copy hey. that. We love that. We're going to go and actually run into the tree now. We would have done that in one shot, but I'd be dead. And what are we touching on there? Uh, it's the front, I think. I'm the first assistant director. What does that person do? I'm the right-hand man of a director. I make sure he gets all his shots in the order he wants them in and make sure that all you knuckleheads are here on set. Awesome. If someone wants to do your job, what do they do? How do they get there? Try to do something else instead. <laughs> Your day job, buy a pen. A pen? Oh. Oh. That's a big a boy. <laughs> How many dollars worth of camera is that that you're holding in your hand right now? What's right. that value, approximately? Hey, right, Jake, how much for this lot? Uh, What's the optimate? 120. 120,000 for, just the, that? for the yeah, lens? Just the lens. Cheaper. That's cheaper, maybe 60, 80,000 for that, and then about 3,000 for that monitor, okay. and about 500 for that battery. <laughs> so, <laughs> almost as much as that midget, which no is pretty incredible. <laughs> this box is controls the camera control as well as focus, Iris. Yep, so you're the focus guy. I'm the focus guy. Awesome. And so, when you turn that remote control into yeah, the camera, you turn that, I can see it. You see the lens moving? Awesome. Yeah. Is it hard to pull focus correctly all the time? Extremely hard. Uh, there is a lot of flurry around the midget at the moment. It's getting probably more attention than it's ever had in its life. Uh, this scene, uh, we've just crashed into a tree. How's my golf club? Hey, hey. Right now I'm sitting in the crashed midget. This is our smoke technician over here. Give us a little blast. Oh, there it is. Uh, and um, and I've just lost control and run into this tree. Um, how many people does it take to orchestrate a car crash? A lot. A lot. And Martin's back there somewhere. Um, there there he is. Yeah, I'm through the bushes. Hello, Martin. How you going? Good. I didn't see you. There's too much bush there. <laughs> how oh, you doing? Marty's got Good. the line yet. Because you had the line earlier, so Marty, you get the line. Do you think we'll get the deposit back on this? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you think we'll get the and deposit then, back on this? From stunt vehicle to practical ute, uh, the midget is now being used to carry all of the gear back to base camp, proving once again why it is the best vehicle on this film set by far. Yes. Yep, we can fit so much in there. I got it, mate. We're in you got, Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Was that the gear stick? Yep. Here we go. Cruising the golf course in the midget. Second, please. Yeah, dude. Yeah. What a machine. are now setting up for a little bit of green screen action. Um, if we green this out, you won't be able to see the green screen behind the, uh, the car anymore, which will be pretty trippy. So maybe we should put like a picture of something completely random there. Um, so setting up with some dolly stuff, a um, whole bunch of dudes getting everything happening. Uh, this is so they can like accurately and with, to keep the quality there, get sort of reactions of us driving the car, particularly my good friend there driving the car. Um, I'll be on top of it. And this will be slightly safer than trying to strap cameras to the car that I then headbutt. They're clapping because we're finished. We're I finished, we they, did it. They clap because we're going home. <laughs> yeah. Yay, they're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving back to Sydney and you can take us. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we Thanks get for to looking after us. Take this stuff off. Well done. Thanks, Good luck in life Thanks, and love and all those things. Well, film Thanks. Set. Thanks. See you next time. Thanks for watching. We're going to go and Thank make you. our way home. Get the midget home as well with all that stuff. See you on the other side. Well done for getting so much achieved in such a good on you, man. Time. Thanks, Matty. Well, Thanks for well that, mate. Yeah, can't wait to see it. Everything already. She's amazing. All right, we are wrapped for this shoot. This here was the box of spares that got put together to make sure, you know, if anything uh, went awry, we would have it. Um, the only tools we brought, Tool Pro X, which is available at Super Cheap Auto. This is the big one, actually. This is the 168 piece. So that has everything, plies, spanners, ratcheting stuff, you know, Allen keys, adjustable stuff, so we had that. And then of course the midget is running on Castrol Edge 
the Mighty Car Mods edition. There we are, Martin. We're on there. Yeah. That's you and me. And you know what? It didn't need, which I'm really proud of, it needed hardly any spares at all. We sort of used the tools a bit at the start to sort of dress it and tidy it up and fix some wiring and tuck away the ECU that we put in it and all that sort of stuff. But the rest of it, check the tire crushes, a few other bits and pieces. It went really well. Um, all the problems we had with feeding the cooling system, which is probably the biggest setback we had with this car at all, um, aside from some stuff with not getting the right parts from Japan, uh, didn't actually hurt us on the day at all. The car just performed flawlessly. So, so absolutely stoked with how that went. Uh, and now we're just packing it up ready to get transported home by uh, one of the legends that's offered to take it home for us, which is really cool because he's driving and we are flying home. Uh, this is going on a tow truck, by the way, not driving on the street. So there it is, everybody. That's the little Mighty Car Mods behind the scenes of the new Best Performing Oils campaign with Super Cheap Auto. You can watch the uh, check out the video by clicking on whichever corner the thing's dropping down on. And we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, and we'll see you shortly back on Mighty Car Mods for some more Mighty Car Modifications, Martin. That's what happens around these parts, people. Cars get modified well and done. used. Well done, Martin. That was a big job. All right. See you later, everybody. Bye.